Today we're going to remove and replace the Wi-Fi antenna flex cable and Wi-Fi antenna signal cover bracket on an iPhone 6. This video was created for Evan by request. I can't always do these, but I will do my best for my subscribers if I have the phone on hand. I'm going to assume two things. Uh, one is that you already know how to open an iPhone 6. If not, you can check out this video on a complete iPhone 6 screen replacement to get you through the first step for this process. Number two, I'm assuming that you've eliminated all other potential causes of Wi-Fi signal issues because you don't want to go through all this and then find out it was something very simple like a password or a router or uh, anything like that. Also, if you need help putting it back together, there's a link in the video description and at the end of this tutorial. I didn't want to make one long video showing the removal and installation. So if you need to see that, just click on the link at the end of the video. You should already have your battery cable disconnected, but if not, go ahead and unplug that. So I'm just going to plug it in here and show the entire process. And you can just come in down here next to the antenna wire. Make sure that's disconnected. We're also going to disconnect the charging port flex cable and the antenna wire. So if you have a fine point pair of tweezers, that's probably the easiest way to get underneath this here from the bottom. Just make sure that you're prying against the metal portion of the antenna wire and not the actual wire because those things tend to separate if you put too much stress on them. We'll go ahead and disconnect the rear facing camera also because we're going to need to have that out of the way in order to remove the logic board. If you haven't done so, you can also remove the SIM card tray. That is going to need to be removed as well. I'm going to leave this screw right here in place for the moment and start up here towards the top end of the phone. There's one screw that has a very large head. It's very easy to recognize because it's different from most of the others. And just to the right of that here in the video, you'll see there's a standoff screw. The best way to remove this is with a standoff screwdriver. If you don't have one, a fine tipped regular flat blade will work also. You just have to be really careful about taking it out. And from here we have a couple screws that come out from this cover plate that has a couple flex cables beneath it that will need to be disconnected also. So once you have those two screws out, Go ahead and remove the cover plate make sure you keep it in the same position and also make sure that you're organizing these screws very precisely because they have a specific arrangement that they need to go back into the phone and it can get a little confusing so again there's a reassembly video linked at the end of this video and in the description in case you need to come back and figure out where these screws go because there's kind of a certain order you need to do this because of that cover plate and because of the Wi-Fi cover that we're removing also. At this point, go ahead and make sure that you've disconnected the two cables. And then we can go ahead and remove this final screw here in the center and that will allow us to remove the cover which you can see just kind of fell off here. There's a very small screw over here towards the camera that needs to come out. And we're going to remove one, but not both of these screws over here. The other one you can just leave attached. In case you're wondering why we need to remove the SIM card tray, you can see that it goes through the housing into the logic board. Again, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and remove your SIM card tray. And then we can go ahead and take out the final screw here in the middle of the logic board. And now you want to very, very carefully maneuver the board out of the housing. There are a couple areas where it's tucked in towards the top end of the phone, so be sure that you kind of lift from this area and then slide it downwards because it has to be able to release from underneath these areas towards the top. There's one here, and there's also one right over here where the board tucks underneath it. So make sure these other cables are also out of your way. You don't want to snag anything in the process when you take the board out.
And once we have that out, we have access to the flex cables on the inside. Now these are the same types of antenna connectors that we had down by the charging port. So very carefully lift these away from the board and make sure you're not prying against the board itself. There are some components underneath the cables on the right hand side here that you can now see. I'm going to point them out and you want to make sure that you're not causing any pressure to be pressed against these tiny little pieces right here. They are very fragile. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.